Tea, and welcome to Ryan Sobanji. If you are new to my channel, I ask that you subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when your Banji boy posts another VEO. And if you've been here before, girl, what's up? My name is Ryan, and I have a problem. When I get ready to go out and enjoy myself, night on the town, girls' night out, whatever the case may be, I think about what I'm gonna wear. Sometimes I even dream about it. I get up, I go in my closet and I go to grab it. But every time I go in my closet to grab exactly what I've envisioned to wear, this happens. Why? Why does this happen to me? Can somebody please tell me? Why every time I get up to get ready, I throw my clothes on the bed? Like, all my clothes be folded, it'll be hanging up in the closet, and I'll just go in there and throw everything on the bed and on the floor just to get to the thing where I can just easily grab, grab, and keep it moving. I don't know what's wrong, y'all. I need help, seriously. If y'all caught my last video, thank y'all so much for watching. Today is Tuesday, so y'all know that means poetry night. I actually will be leaving in about three hours, but I'm a little sleepy. I wanna take a nap, but I'm afraid to take a nap because if I do, I'm not gonna get up to get ready to go. I'm gonna be like, girl, not tonight. <laughs> Other than that, girl, ain't nothing popping, but I do need to start getting up and um putting these clothes back, but <sighs> y'all ever started cleaning up and then took a little break, and then that break ended up being a big break, which turned to like the next day. That's me. I'm gonna get up simply because it's not that much and um, I think I know what I'm gonna wear. I might change it up, who knows, so most likely it's a good thing why I threw everything on the bed, child. And I think right now I am a little sleepy or tired because I just finished eating. I had fried some red snapper and I made some smoked gouda grits. Uh, so good. That's why I know my I know my face a little chubby because I don't know I bloat a little bit as I'm done eating. Girl, when I be waking up, I be snatched to like roll like scrappy. It's, it be giving very much BBL because I be having a a small stomach and then my thighs and my hips be like pow and that ass be like. <laughs> and girl, as soon as I eat something, that stomach drop. These cheeks get I don't know. I might be allergic to salt. But I like flavor. I like to taste my food. But now that's something that's been going on for a long time. But on the real, this may be a little off topic, but it's still kind of like, you know, flow. Um, one of the reasons why I don't eat McDonald's, I don't know if they're packed with sodium, but if I eat just a little piece of anything from McDonald's, my face will like blow up like a And that's how I look. My face will blow up like that. My stomach will just like ooze like I have a freaking tumor low key. And I end up having to run to the restroom and just a whole lot of, whole lot of. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is Rhinesha, not Rhinetta. I like Rhinetta. No, that's my auntie. How may I help you? Mm, what you getting into? I'm getting into a lot of things, but right now I'm getting in bed. <laughs> Good morning, besties. It is the next day. I am about to fix me some quick breakfast. I'm pretty much having an early start today. I woke up probably around 7, 7, 15-ish. That's like the earliest I've woken up in a very, very long time. <laughs> My bird. And um, I actually woke up with a headache. 
I thought maybe it was from the drinks I had last night. You know how people always say that, you know, sweet drinks give them headaches. That's not my testimony. But at the same time, I am getting older, so that may be the case. I only had about, what, I think three drinks. I got that at 7.30. As soon as I walked in, our waitress, she had the drinks already rolling like she's so bomb like she knew exactly what we want as soon as we hit the door so i just got there at 7 30 my drink came probably like three minutes after that so i was drinking at 7 30 then about 8 15 i had my second drink and right before they closed i had my third so you know they weren't close together i did take like two shots i don't know i had a great night i went to sleep like around 12 and i woke up with a headache and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to get up. Let me go ahead and eat something and um, get my day started. Did take out some steak. I was going to fix me like some steak and eggs and everything, you know, a meal for a king. <laughs> but um, I guess I'm going to have that for dinner because it's not completely thawed out. It's still very much frozen in the middle. I'm just going to eat me some cereal, some frosted flakes. Y'all don't laugh at me. Because I'm sure I'm not the only adult that eats cereal, so don't do that. I don't know if it's just me or um, frosted flakes haven't been frosted flaking like they used to like when I was a kid everything just tastes so different now it just tastes so different from what I remember <laughs> but God is good. Okay, whatever. Hey y'all, I'm in the car. I am about to head to my homegirl salon. She had hit me up and said that today will be a short day for her. And she just wanted to hang out. So yeah, for my people. So yeah, for my people that are in Jacksonville, Florida and you're looking for a um, loctician, someone to start your locks, retwist, style, hit my girl Crystal up. I will have all her information in the description below, um, including her Instagram so you can see her work as well as her booking information if you are interested. Tell her that Ryan Sobanji sent you. I'm over here debating if I want to stop and get some lunch or not. I may surprise her with some lunch. I don't know. It's not that many restaurants near her. Besides fast food restaurants, of course. I do not F with fast food like that nowadays. Like, remember when I was saying about the cereal? Everything just tastes so different. I don't know. We may catch a vibe, go out somewhere for lunch. Starter locks, please. I need you to work your magic. And that's what you said on your website. Where is it going to start? It, you can start like right there. Well, where? Where?
Great, how are you? Good, my name is Shelby. I'm taking care of you. This is my trainee, Maddie. Hey, hey how, how are you? I was on the drink. We do have happy hour right now. Margaritas are on special for five as well as our well drinks. Want to do a peach um, margarita? Sure. Yeah, when you know the food was good. <laughs> wow. Oh, my, my, my. My God today. <laughs> Y'all used to always tell me, you need to come to New Orleans and try Cajun. I don't know if Cajun, where y'all at is the same as Cajun crab, juicy seafood, but baby. She is bomb. Okay, I give this place a 10 out of 10. Everything was so delicious. Remember when I told y'all the oysters? The oysters is served with Texas toast instead of crackers. Girl, so good. So yeah, instead of me going to Juice the Crab, honey, I'm gonna start coming here until they pissed me off and made me mad and I don't wanna call them on. It was really, really good. That sauce was bomb. Um, I wish the sauce was thicker like how it was on the oysters. In the mussels, it really picks up the seasoning from the butter sauce. But I, I wish the sauce was just a little thicker for my crawfish so I can just dip it in. Maybe I'll try to order some on the side one day, but I give it a 10 out of 10. It was a great experience. The drink was bomb. They have happy hour from, I think they said three to six. $5 well drinks, $5 margaritas. I had a peach margarita. It was really good. Everything was just top tier. So right now I am heading home. Um, I'm not getting into anything else for today. I really just want to relax and take another nap. I feel better. Ooh, shit. I feel better. Um, I don't have that headache anymore. I just think I have the itis. Great news, I made it home. And um, before I start to edit this video and get in this bed, this is my project. So here are my Hoochie Daddy shorts that I wore today. I have some shout. <laughs> before I throw these in the washing machine, I just want to spray some shout on it. Hopefully this works. One of my subscribers had recommended using Dawn anytime I get oil on my clothes. So, we'll see child. This is what I get for trying to be a hoochie daddy. I'm a messy hoochie daddy ones that can't even pay that child support. Okay, this look real suspect, so let me, yeah. All right, I'm gonna let this thing sit. Okay, so I let these sit for about 30 minutes. Um, and I still see a little red in the dots. There's another one. You can see it real good on my phone camera. So yeah. I'm going to scrub it with a wet rag, a warm wet rag, 
After that, I'm going to spray it again. I wonder if I should add a little Dawn in it. At this point, y'all, it looked like this is going to go into my, like, whatever clothes basket. You know, whenever I'm doing laundry or just lounging around. Or this is just going in the trash. So, I had these for a long time. I got them from H&M. I got these from H&M. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> and, um, I... And I never really got a chance to really wear these. I think I wore them like once or twice. But, um, yeah. It's so hard to say goodbye, my love. No, I might not need to sing that song because we'll get it out. So while I'm scrubbing my shorts with warm water, I just went ahead and added some Dawn to the rag. So, I don't see why this wouldn't work. And like I said earlier, I'm just going to let it sit with the shout on it. And then I'm tossing it in the wash machine. And I guess that will be the big reveal after I get it out of the dryer. So, we'll see. Well, y'all, I reckon that is it. Thank y'all so much for spending the day with me. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like it, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when your Banjo Boy posts another VEO. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.